it's been um What was that? What do people have to like stupid posts for? What is there to like about me having technical problems? Somebody just posted a uh, like that my computer problems. Boy, they don't know the fucking end of it, don't they? Three fucking weeks in a row. Technical problems. This is a fucking nightmare. I think I should quit. I mean, I, I just can't go through this activation anymore. Don't you just love it? Spacecraft videos. I can make uh, spacecraft videos me, I mean, me falling apart. Who cares? I know I know who the um who the you know there's a lot of phonies out here. These people are not real. But you know what? Fuck it, it's my channel. Let me if I wanna have an uh, a breakdown live on the air, why not? I mean, uh, I guess I'm a, a, a disappointment. I promised you guys a show for the last couple weeks, and I haven't delivered. I'm not blaming me. But I don't know who to blame it on. It's not my fault. I did nothing wrong. I just turned the fucking thing on, a switch, and that's it. It's supposed to work. But with me, with fucking me, nothing fucking works. I was trying to send my friend <coughs> a video. What's my phone? Now my phone disappeared. Oh, there it is. You know, on uh, phone messenger. Let me see. It didn't go through. It went like this in a. Um, it went like this in a circle. Anyway, uh, I appreciate um, Patty out there. I like Patty a lot. I don't like anybody else. You know?
I don't like anybody else. I know Patty's for real. That's why she's welcome here anytime. Never a problem. Now I can't find my friend. I send him a... Um, um, no, I'm, I'm, I'm just not in the mood. Um, I have a funny video I did on YouTube. The pill is starting to take effect on me now. I just text my friend, and my friend is not here. Why is that? Why Why is that? Why isn't my friend here? I just text him. I tried to text him a video, and the thing kept going like in a circle. I mean, nothing is working here. I mean, this is just fucking bullshit, man. Nothing's fucking working. Fucking bullshit. God damn it, motherfucker. I'm looking at my text over here on my phone. I text this guy a fucking funny video. Maybe I gotta send it from YouTube. Oh, there's the video. Hey, uh, Patty. Have you ever been to my uh, YouTube page? Are you a subscriber? I got a really funny video. I was making fun of Ratso Fatso. And uh, it was very funny. You would love it. You would laugh. You would laugh. Okay. I'm, I'm doing it from a different source. You know, Patty, it's just driving me crazy, honey. No matter what I do, I can't get nothing right. That's why they call me non-technical Joe. Damn it. I think it went through. I'll call him later. Sorry about that. A little outburst there. You know stress can kill. You know that? It's been proven... By the guy who does the famous autopsies on TV. Who does the celebrity autopsies. Stress. Kills. And I'm dying. I have AFib. I was in the hospital over the weekend. I was in an intensive care unit. Which I didn't belong. Because those people were sick. Not me. I mean, I was sick, but not like that. And here I am trying to impress people, to entertain people like you and everybody else who gives a shit about me. And stress and anger kills. But I don't care because if I didn't care about my show... If I didn't care about it, I wouldn't take an anxiety pill like I just did. My last anxiety pill. I think I have more. I don't know. I wouldn't be here making a scene, making a production. Somebody just text me. Um, I do care. But, you know, it's not it, it's not just caring. It is frustration beyond frustration. Oh, I'm sorry. Angie, she's a good friend of mine like you are. 
she's liking the fact that I was doing my, uh, I posted on Facebook, which nobody cares. You know, they do it after the fact, three, six fucking cocksucker, ten hours later. I put something up. Why can't people fucking respond right away? You know, this is very disrespectful, the way these fucking people. I did it like an hour ago. You know, Patty, I did it an hour ago. And instead of these people, like, no, an hour, two, three hours. It's after the fact. It's old news. I wrote my computer's doing updates. Uh, please hang in there with me. If I'm a little late, please don't go away from the site. Wait a little. Uh, wait a little bit. I'll keep you updated. If you... So Angie, she likes it. What is there to like about my misfortune? Well, I'm having a great month. I was in the hospital for uh, the weekend. And because uh, it was my fault for not taking my medication on a consistent basis. Uh, that was bad. Very bad. I had to give up my whole weekend because I was in the hospital, Patty. And then I went to traffic court. Excuse me, I'm sorry. Fresh roasted peanuts. And then I had to go to traffic court. I missed my, I had two court dates. I missed them on Monday. I was in the hospital on the weekend. Bad enough I was in the hospital. Then I missed my court date for a uh, seatbelt. I don't get bad tickets. I get this one I went to yesterday. I drove and I wasted time and gas to go to court to answer a uh, ticket that I got for non-registration because they gave us a year. I don't want to go through the whole thing. The DMV. This was during the height of COVID. And I went to court and there was illness. Maybe the judge. I don't know. People showed up. I showed up. Wasted a whole fucking afternoon to have the court case adjourned. Then I was promoting the show of shows all week. And uh, today, you know, would have been nice to do the show and to prove to everyone that I'm capable and I'm talented and I'm good at what I do. What I'm afraid of is that nobody is going to go to my website anymore. Nobody's even going to give me a chance anymore. I think uh, all those videos I posted up on rock and roll sites, heavy metal sites, I belong to about maybe, I don't know, 30 of them, I think. They're never going to trust me again. They're going to say, this guy's full of shit. We went there and... A lot of them did like my video. You know, another thing, when I do videos for different groups, 
I could do the first 10 and then face crap because they don't like me. They cut my video. They won't even let me. I'll do the video. Then they'll say something went wrong with the video. Isn't that terrible? Damn. Isn't that terrible, Patty? They do that to me on purpose. They cut my videos off. They'll let me do about 10 or 12 videos. And then they'll say something went wrong. And they'll cut my video. Isn't that terrible, Patty? It's like... Uh, face crap has it in for me. Like you said, they want you to worship them. Uh, they want you to love them. I'm going to be honest with you, Patty. I'm not going to love those motherfuckers. I wish them nothing but... I wish that... They would step into a hole, you know, like Zuckercock, be walking, and he steps into a hole, and he breaks his fucking leg, you know? That's the kind of stuff. I don't wish death upon anybody. I can't do that. Because I don't want to die. Hold on, I got to take deep breaths. Listen, Patty, I'm very embarrassed. I know I don't know you personally. Don't think I'm not embarrassed by this. For you to see me like this. For anyone to see me like this. I'm very embarrassed. Especially you. Because, uh, you know, we've talked and everything. I just can't. I'm in a state of shock. I can't. Believe all the bad luck I'm having. And then those enemies of mine, they're going to be bragging about it on, you watch, on the Ratso Fatso show. And they're going to say, oh, like Billy Painter, he's going to, he's one of my biggest enemies. He's going to say, oh, that's just karma. Uh, you deserve it, Joe. No, I don't fucking deserve anything. Those guys are the scummest of the scum. They're leftist liberal cocksuckers. And I don't like leftist liberal cocksuckers. Because I didn't think it would affect my life. They actually deplatformed me. They threw me off Live 365. He did it. He called me to antagonize me and he knew that I would say a certain word. About his sister going out with a black guy. And I said a certain word. And he recorded it. He gave it to the company. Live 365. You can look them up. They're streaming service. And they kicked me off. After I was paying them $65 a month. They kicked me off. They had no business doing that. Yeah, they wanted an explanation. You know what? I don't need to give you an explanation of anything. They said, if I didn't explain my actions, I would be permanently banned. I said, permanently ban me. What do I care? You're impeding on my First Amendment rights for freedom of speech. Plus, I pay. You have no right to deplatform me. This is like living in Nazi Hitler days. Mussolini, Napoleon. This is not what America is all about. And you're going to kick me out of the platform? Really? Oh. 
I mean, you know, Patty, nothing for nothing, but I was shocked that I was deplatformed off a streaming service. He set me up to call him a very, very racist word. And he was bothering me for a long time, for about maybe six or seven months. Him and Ratso Fatso. And then we had arrogant faggot media that called me, uh, you know, that was doing voodoo, hexes on me. And then we had the Jared Slimebag show, which is not their real name. Um, and I don't know, all these people started sticking their nose where it didn't belong. And they were all defending Ratso because Ratso is a liberal douchebag. And I'm not into liberalism. I'm not into the woke movement. I'm not into um, people denying your freedom of speech. To me, it's communistic and it's Marxist. I'm not into that shit. I'm into the old time America. And we have... And I didn't, I didn't think this would affect me. Because I've been doing the Crazy Joe show for about four or five years. I never got deplatformed. I never got kicked off anything. And now all of a sudden I'm being kicked out. And I'm being challenged by a bunch of liberal cocksuckers out there that are harassing me all the time. Like I'm their target. You know where these people come out of, Patty? They come out of Manchester, New Hampshire. And do you know that Manchester, New Hampshire, and you live in New York City like I did for many years, do you know Manchester, New Hampshire is 97.5% white? There ain't no black people in New Hampshire. You go to Brooklyn, New York City, you see tons of black people. Not in New Hampshire. So some pig, I call him Ratso Fatso Pigo, is going to talk to me about black culture. I know more about black culture than anybody. You know more about black culture than anybody. And we're going to have this lily white guy who's nothing but a backward hillbilly douchebag who likes to have sex with farm animals and maple syrup trees. It's going to tell me about the black people. And he calls me a bigot and a racist. Billy Painter calls me a racist. Matt Connington, Ratso Fatso, Public Axo Pigo calls me racist. Well, it's really funny because I have a black guy who's my technical expert in this computer stuff, who's a black guy from Guyana. So if I was a bigot, you know what I mean? His girlfriend is Jewish. If I was anti-Semitic, which I'm not. Look, I have my criticisms. We live in New York. We know what... Everybody has, a, has prejudice in them. There's no such thing as people not having prejudice. Especially you live in a place like New York City. Patty, you're the perfect example of New York City. We have more nationalities in New York City than we know what to do with. So some jerk-off asswipe from New Hampshire is going to tell us about our New York, about our way of life, about our culture, who we get along with, who we don't get along with. Right? Right? You know what you should do? Do me a favor, right? It's up to you. I don't think you're going to do it. Because you know, I don't think you're the type. I'll give you... Well, you could actually look it up. WMNH Radio, Matt Connington. He does a show from... I think 3 to 6 or 2 to 4. I'm not sure in the afternoon. You should call him. And say, you know what? I'm a New York City resident. I know the real deal. You shouldn't be telling Joe about black culture. Because we're both from New York. And we know more about black culture than you'll ever do. Patty, I appreciate you hanging out with me. 
I owe you one. I don't feel good right now. I think I want to take a nap. Uh, I'm not coming on the, uh, the air tonight. There's no reason for me to come on the air. You know what I mean? I've done said what I had to say. I'm embarrassed. I'm humiliated. And you don't need to put up with me any more than you already did. But I appreciate it. My stomach hurts now. I got a pain in my stomach. I take deep breaths. Peace and love to you as always. Thank you for your support. Thank you for babysitting me. And caring about my feelings. I owe you one. Bye.